Hello, I would like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to enjoy this presentation. We as a group have worked immensely hard to get to this point in the semester and hope you will enjoy the story of Coca-Cola. To begin, principles of management can be looked at as rudimentary and easy to learn. Some say it is basic common sense, which to some it is. This is because some are born with the skill to lead others. This course is designed in a way that brings all types of business professionals together in order to fully understand the principles of management. Professor Diasio has created a learning mechanism unlike any other we have experienced before. He has placed everyone into a group which forces people to collaborate, much like the professional world will. In these groups, we are tasked with creating a TV series centered on management principles being learned. We are directly applying a curriculum to a series that is relatable to all. With this method, we are not just reading a book and answering questions. We are working together and applying principles in real time. Our group consists of five highly collaborative students. We begin with myself, Alexis Economos. I have been dubbed the group's leader. I am a junior transfer student at USF St. Petersburg. My intention is to complete a bachelor's degree in accounting and then go on for a master's as well. My goal in this group is to be sure our work is done properly and in a timely manner. I also delegate tasks between the group members, much as a manager would for their team in a professional setting. Next is Andrew Flower. He is a junior at USF and plans to graduate with a marketing degree. He has been in Tampa his whole life and all of his family is located here. In the future, he wants to own his own business. Everyone has different schedules and aligning them all is a challenge in itself, but he has been dedicated to this group and a project alike. Next up is Kelly Murphy, who is a bachelor's degree student in the accounting field. This is her first semester at USF St. Pete. She is a bartender by trade, but has most recently switched into the accounting field as a bookkeeper and office manager. The management aspect of employment is new to her, but this class has been very informative and helpful along her journey. Kelly has been a huge asset to the team. She is always ready to take on more than necessary as long as it is the good of the team. Tommy Watts is from Tampa, Florida. Tommy aided in voice acting for two of the characters in our show and created the ideas for quite a few of the episodes. Tommy has been on top of everything since the beginning. He has a very busy schedule, and in order for him to help the group's success in the most effective way, we decided to have him take more than one role and solely focus on creativity and making the story come to life. Zohair is our final team member. His name is derived from the root word of lucky in Arabic. He was born in Casablanca, Morocco, then moved to France, then Germany, before ending up in Bradenton, Florida. He works for Flight Source International as an executive jet sales agent. He is looking to acquire a degree in biology and possibly double major in business management, as he has always had a knack for business and sales. I truly believe that as a student coming into this class, or any other class for that matter, you are able to acquire a significant amount of knowledge and ideas that you carry with you for the rest of your life. However, that all comes down to the effort you are willing to put in and the results you get out. That being said, Zohar highly recommends this course for anyone looking to further their knowledge in the business management background with a unique twist on learning and emphasis on teamwork. We chose to create this series from scratch rather than use artwork from previous shows. We chose to create Coca-Cola in this way because the story is based on true events. This story is all about management concepts in a working environment. In our story, we tell about a manager who has become ineffective in his position at a manufacturing plant and the ways that the head of the plant has used different management techniques to fix the issues the plant is having. Craig, the new general manager, has used SWOT analysis to help him decide what needs to happen with the plant. Craig is a young, intelligent man and is the new general manager of the Coca-Cola Company's Orlampa City plant. He is a static character wow. who is solely concerned with finding the proper balance and implementing his strategic corporate social responsibility perspective as it pertains to operating his manufacturing facility. The Orlampa City facility has a negative reputation with customers for rudeness and incorrect order placement. And the staff seem discontent with the way the plant is being operated. The board of directors at like Coca-Cola hired no. Craig to lead the it's Orlando City facility oh, and to change the current workplace culture to positively impact the way employees feel about their job and positively impact their customers' opinions on the products and service provided. 
Vern is a ah. stocky, somewhat irritable what? older man and is a team lead on the day shift at the Coca-Cola company. He's like, we want to put a he used to work out when he was younger, you know, so he's proud of his physique and walks around with his chest bowed right. out, even though he's oh, not quite in shape like he used to be. Vern never had much formal education and learned everything he knows about how to manage a manufacturing team from the experience he earned working for Coca-Cola for 29 years. He thinks he knows a lot more Look about situations than what he really does and is extremely overconfident. Vern is a stern leader, but tends to do things and make his decisions based on impulse and on his initial gut reactions to circumstances rather than on actual facts. He never really had any interest in the opinions of others and thinks that since his own opinions and methods have worked for this long, they couldn't possibly be wrong. Get it. Tammy is a kind, humble, and bubbly younger woman with a good heart and strong values. She is in her final semester of business school and is extremely smart with a 4.0 GPA. There is one thing that Tammy lacks, however, and that is on-the-job training. She has a lot to learn about how to manage the manufacturing business at Coca-Cola that books could never teach her. Our show begins with Craig dealing with the issue of confronting Vern's issues as a leader. By the end of the episode, Vern is not acceptance of the decision, but understands that it is for the good of the plan. The series progresses into Tammy's rise through the company. She has become aware of procedural weaknesses and has found a solution to an issue no one knew was there. This is not a pleasant turn of events for Vern. But in the end, he learns to deal with the change, no matter how difficult it may be to accept. Now a familiar issue, Vern is still unaccepting of Tammy. Our remaining episodes will show how these co-workers act outside of work while with their loved ones. This will create a bond between viewers and characters. This will be a several episode arc based on one main issue. The company has a scoring system to show specific teams progress. Tammy and Vern's team is not doing so well, and they must figure out why and fix it. The only problem is Vern and Tammy want to implement very different ideas based on old and new practices. This project has helped me to step into the role of a leader. I was able to lead my team to an unbelievable final goal. My advice to other students would be to work ahead and be on top of your group assignments. Choose a leader who can keep everyone organized and on track. Be willing to do your fair share, and this project should be a breeze. I really enjoyed the group project for the most part. There were a few issues along the way working in a group, but we overcame them. I learned quite a bit from the project and working in a group setting. It was a struggle working completely online and through text with all of the assignments, but everything was completed on time and done well. Working in the group was very helpful and informative for my career path. I'm in the accounting field and plan to own my own business someday. So learning to work in a group and learning management te techniques along the way was something I was very appreciative for. I have not worked in very many groups before, so the, the more experience I get, the better. Also, with our group completely working online, it was helpful in getting more in tune with the different processes involved. The major advice I can give for future students is to make sure to allot yourself enough time to complete all assignments in a timely manner. Also making sure to be prepared to pick up the slack of other group members if something comes up and they cannot complete their assignment tasks for the week. Hello, my name is Andrew Floor, and I personally liked this project. I felt like it was very creative and it was interesting to work on. I also feel that this helped my career because in an office setting, you're going to be working with a team, and this was an example of how to work with a team and to play off people's strengths and weaknesses. If I had to give advice to future students, I'd probably give them the advice to start early and don't wait till the last day to start working on whatever's due that day because it's hard to orchestrate with a team within 12 hours if something is due. Hello, my name is Tommy Watts, and throughout working on this project, uh, I thought that it was a really great way to learn many concepts of management, and overall working on the project was a really great experience and a fun time, and doing it like this made it very enjoyable. 
I would recommend getting back to your partners on time uh, before the due date and also really stepping up when you can and where you can to really have a great experience. I really enjoyed the nature of the project and the creativity aspect of it. Uh, it allowed for us to go beyond the classroom and actually delve into the business world along with, um, you know, being able to tackle all the obstacles and uh, analyzing the multiple ways of, of tackling them. Um, as creativity and, and teamwork are, are skills that are very useful in any career. For, um, for you know, for future students, I, I definitely recommend the same advice I would mention in any profession or objective. Um, you're you're sure to get out of it as much as you're willing to put into it. Um, uh, apart from that, I'm a style of learning, and you should definitely capitalize on that and your ability to get as as far out of the box and creative as you can, because um, you know being able to develop a portion of your brain. Um, in this specific class that most other classes tend to neglect um, is, is definitely We would like to thank our professor for giving us the opportunity to think outside of the box and create our own managerial ideas. We would also like to thank all of our viewers once again for taking the time to view this presentation. Uh, go!